Hey everyone, my name is JP de Guzman. This is my son, Mateo. Say hi. Hi. So, we have with us here the Warhammer 40,000 Indomitus box set. Uh, we started playing Warhammer during this lockdown and I introduced my kids to tabletop gaming. And uh, they had quite a lot of fun with it. We started with um, Kill Team. And gradually, since 9th edition came out, we are now working our way towards playing a real game of uh, Warhammer. Uh, what do you think about that, Theo? Mm, it seems interesting, but Warhammer, the regular one, seems much longer paced. Um, well, that was the old edition. With the coming of the 9th edition, they say that games have now been able to uh, be played for about one to three hours. So that's what's really interesting about this box set because you can play it for one to three hours. When we look at the box set, we'll be opening it in a bit. And uh, we have here two armies, the loyal space marines, the heroes of, of the game basically. Correct, Mateo? Yeah. What army do you play in, in Warhammer? Space wolves all the way. Space wolves figures. So on the other side, you have the Necrons. And my son Lucas will talk to you about the Necrons in a bit. Reading through the box set, it really contains a lot. So basically what it contains is the Warhammer 40,000 core book, which contains the new 9th edition rules, a 24-page booklet called The Edge of Silence, a 20-page assembly guide, transfer sheets, and it includes 61 miniatures. 61? 61 miniatures, Mateo. Imagine all that inside this one box set. So how do I go about getting this box set? Well, you have to watch this. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna open this box. I'm really excited about it. Are you excited about it? Yeah. Today? Yeah, all right. So we begin opening the box. And we have a cutter. So guys, most of the players or hobbyists or collectors of Warhammer and the whole hobby, they really treasure their boxes. And um, I know a lot of people who kind of have boxes from third edition, which is way before you, Mateo. Third edition was when I was in college. How old were you when I was in college? Non-existent. Non-existent, correct. All right. So we're beginning to open the box. At this point, I shall do a time lapse while I gently cutter the plastic. And we are here. We're about to open the box. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so here we go. So we're opening the box. It's kind of heavy. First thing I do when I open a box, of, like a new box set for Warhammer, is I just smell the contents. Why? Because it's so nice. It smells so nice. See? The smell of new plastic. So what we have initially is this. This is like um, what you get. Yeah, it's kind of a poster thing. You get it with all the box sets. Prophecy of the Wolf has it, the Sisters of Battle box set has it. It's something nice to collect. I, I kind of probably will be framing these in the future. Okay, so the first thing that you see when you open the box are sprues. Loads and loads and loads of sprues, all right? This thing is filled with sprues. All right, so we have the Necron sprues. We have the new Space Marine bikes. Bikes, wolf bikes. Oh well, yeah. They can, you know, you can paint your Space Marines to any chapter. They could be Ultramarines, Blood Angels, Dark Angels. There are various chapters of Space Marines, but I guess we're going to do them as Space Wolves. Hey, do you think <laughs> that you're going to be playing uh, well into the new edition, given that this new box is quite melee-based? Maybe. Yeah, because all you'd like to do is charge and assault and, and just... That's the best way to play. Um, okay, if you say so. So we have more sprues. I think this is like the Primaris Captain along with the other um, Necron stuff, right? These are new, new Blade Guard guys, but they go... It's, it's cool because they kind of go with their counterpart from the Necron half. These are the big Necron guys. 
So I think Lucas will be looking at this in a while. Now we have my son, Lucas. Hello. Who, who is wanting to feel the Necron arm, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, Necrons. Let's talk about Necrons. What do you think are interesting about Necrons? It's kind of like because they're they they're kind of like the ancient Egyptians. Yeah. Mummies of Warhammer. It's like they just don't die. They, oh, they don't, don't die. die. All right. So Necrons are the new um, featured bad guys, so to speak, in the Warhammer universe. Mm -hmm. So apparently there are Necron lords here. They're small. Um, Necron scarabs, these, these little units right there. What do they do? You have to read the rules, man. So, just so you know. There's this big Necron unit that's looking amazing to be built. Yeah, these guys look very, very scary, both in, in range and in melee. Mm -hmm. um, of course, you have like all the Necron HQs or... or leader characters here in this crew as well. So what do you think, Luke? Think this will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mateus Space Wolves? Of course! You think your reanimation protocols will just, like, annoy? annoy? You won't even the... get to me. So let's see, let's see how that all plays. <laughs> Thanks, Luke. All right. Now, peoples. So it's let's see our peoples. Marines, Mateo. So wolves. what... Wolves, Ultramarines, Space Marines, okay? So we have in the sprue your Blade Guard and your basically he's like the standard bearer carrying a ah, yes, flag. an icon of dread. Like like a skeleton thing that ah, yes. I guess it's guy holding a flag that has a skull. Yeah, it's supposed to intimidate your opponent from the get-go. So we have more space marines over here. Chainsword Intercessors. Yeah, fits perfectly well with your Space Wolves. Chainsword Intercessors. So after, like, all the spruce, you get... Another poster. Another poster type thing. See? Cool. So you get two poster type things. You get... A another. promo thingy for Indomitus. Um, the novel. So yeah, this is available as hardback or, or an ebook or an audiobook and you can order that from your local gaming shop. It's a small poster thing. It's interesting. You have like what I said, the edge of silence. Basically it's a booklet that talks about the game and, mm -hmm. and l the lore so far. Yeah. Alright, this is what most people have been waiting for. It's the hardbound ninth edition. Core book. It's so nice. So what it has is the prime mark of the Ultramarines. Yeah. Papa Smurf himself, Robute or Robut Gilman, battling War Master Abaddon the Despoiler. The art is amazing. I'm gonna flip through it for you guys and see. You see like lore, and you see like all the other things that are needed. Of course, there's lots of pictures of painted stuff. Well, of course, the rules are there and, and command and patrol detachment and, and open play and, and, and all the things you really need to play a game of Warhammer. Of course, you have the transfer sheet. And... The stands, all of the, the stands. The bases. You have multiple bases over here. So, over there? yeah, more bases on the other side. So this has been the unboxing. This is JT Divisman. This is my son, Mateo. Hi, again. Hi, again. Bye. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, go and purchase uh, Warhammer 40,000 Indomitus at your local gaming shop. Thanks. Bye.